72 straight hours. It was the deadliest bombardment of the sea. Yeah. Hey, Bert, it's Earl. How you doing? Listen, um, this sounds kind of funny. It's because I'm on a radio phone. It's the only way we can call out of this place. Earl. Oh, Earl. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, I haven't seen you. Guess you've been laying kind of low, huh? Laying low? No, negative. <clears throat> I've been uh, real busy. Lots of projects. <clears throat> so, uh, how are you and Heather doing? Well, she, uh, she's still visiting her sister. Yeah? You know, she actually blames our problems on the collapse of the Soviet Union. Well, you did take that kind of hard, Bert. Said I was too hard to live with. Said I couldn't handle life without the threat of global war. What kind of things does that say to a man? Well, I don't know, Bert. I guess he just... Anyway, like... takes more than that to get me down. <laughs> I've been running around so much, it's lucky you caught me home. Well, in, uh, in that case, I don't know uh, if you'd be interested in this. I'm down in Mexico, see, and I find myself in a sort of situation. What kind of situation? A graboid kind of situation. Doesn't look like it. Mira! Mira! The monster of God! Get him back! Mira! Look! Look at the size of that! Look! The monster of God! It's grande! Ain't no graboid. It's something more dangerous. Monster HQ, I presume. Hey, Bert. <laughs> Good Earl. to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> uh, this is Kate. Uh, Kate. This is Pedro. Pedro. Julio. Pleasure. Pleasure is mine. And, uh... Grady, Grady, Grady Hoover. Yeah, I read all about you, Mr. Mr. Gummer. Yeah, it's a real, real honor. <laughs> Man, you think you got a big enough truck here? He the new guy? So, did you get me one of those seismo monitors? Ain't no problem. Hey, what the hell you got in this thing, anyway? Hey, 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 hey! Don't touch. Don't touch, easy. Mexican Army gave me this truck. Huh? And a few little items on my wish list. Oh! <laughs> well, it's a bit much, don't you think? <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm right. Makes my homemade stuff look like cherry bombs. Thermite, C4, TNT, high explosive, H-E. Is there such thing as low explosive? <laughs> well, y yes, son, there he is. I mean, the Federalists offer you anything you want. You guys take one case of dynamite? What the hell is this thing for? That uh, might end up in my collection. Hey, got some uh, new equipment for you, gentlemen. Your backup weapons. Can you handle a firearm? I'll check him out. Shotgun? We're not hunting rabbits down here, Bert. Not shotguns. Double rifles, elephant guns. Wesley Richards 480. 375 H Nation Mag. Knock down power up the yin yang. Treat them well. But hold them good and tight to your shoulder, or they'll break your collarbone. So where's uh Mrs. Gummer? She didn't want to come? Uh, why don't you get this, uh, stuff in our truck? Sure, no problem. Look, man, uh, I really want to thank you for coming down. We're in pretty deep here. Oh, forget it, Earl. <laughs> i tell you the truth. If I didn't get out of that house and do something, I was gonna go crazy. Heather's not coming back. 
No. Called me and told me to send her the HK-91. Ouch. Yeah. So. Anyway, it'll be good to get into something constructive. Oh, my. What is this? Grizzly single shot, 50 caliber BMG based on a World War I anti-tank cartridge. Anti-tank? Had the bullets custom cast from solid bronze. <laughs> Man, Birch, you put a whole new shine on the word overkill. When you need it and don't have it, you sing a different tune.